This is a version of Mastermind the board game built in Microsoft Excel using formulas. I've also built a more colourful version using VBA and I will link that video um, in the description and probably also on the screen somewhere at some point. The rules of Mastermind um, is that you have to break a, a hidden code, a secret code. In this case the code is a four number combination and it can use any of the numbers one to six and those numbers can repeat themselves. Now before we begin we do have to make sure our calculation options are set to manual. Now the calculation options in Excel are normally set to automatic and this allows all your formulas to update as you edit your sheets. Um, by setting it to manual they'll only update when you um, want that particular cell to update the formula. So to do that you just need to go to formulas, calculation options and make sure manual is ticked. The reason for this is because if I unhide the cells up here, the first row, you can see this is the hidden code using the RAND between formula. If I put my calculation options to automatic, that code will change every time I enter a number. And so you don't have a way to actually guess the code because it's constantly changing. If I now put the calculation options back to manual, you'll see that every time I edit a cell, the code stays the same. But if I press F9, it will refresh all of the formulas. And that's why when you want to start a new game, you have to delete your guesses and press F9 to generate a new hidden code. Now, just a quick note on this, Excel will remember the settings of your calculation options from the last saved spreadsheet. So if you want to keep it in automatic, make sure you change it back before you start doing anything else. Also, any other um, spreadsheets you open after opening this one will assume the same calculation options. So just make sure you check that before you continue doing other work in Excel. So let's play a game. You need to enter your guesses along here. So this is my first guess, 1112, and then in column F you hit F2 and enter and that will update that formula for you and tell you if you had any numbers correct or in the right place. In this case I got nothing correct. Oh, let's not guess twos again because we know they're not correct. Let's guess 3334, F2, enter. So now I know three are correct and two are in the right position. So let's try three, 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 five. And all I'm doing here is tabbing along each one, entering my numbers, F2, enter, and it gives me the evaluation. So now I know four numbers are correct. Great, I just need to find the right order. So we know we need to switch the five with one of the threes. Let's see if that's correct. Nope, let's try this. No, let's try this. There it is, four correct, four in the right position, and that means I have cracked the code in six guesses. I'll say a little bit about the formulas I've used here. So the one that generates the hidden code that you're trying to crack is actually very, very simple. It's just a rand between function, and that just takes um, the bottom and top value that you want and then it will return a random number between those two numbers in this case one and six and I've just done that um, four times along here. The evaluation the check of your guess is a much more complicated formula I'm not going to try and explain every part of it um, but you're more than welcome to obviously go and have a look at it yourself it essentially um, first checks have you entered the numbers correctly here so that's what this first part is are those four cells between zero, um, sorry, between one and six. And then it's going to go along each one of these and check if those numbers appear in your guess and how many times. And then it will add that total together and output the answer. That's as much detail as I'm going to go into because as you can see, it's, it's a long convoluted formula. I'm not actually the best at formulas. So there might actually be a much simpler way of doing this. Um, but th that is how I've done it for now. The simplest formula in here is this one. 
the sum product. The double uh, minus sign there means that it changes this boolean from true to false to zero or one. And what this formula is doing is literally counting how many numbers from the array b4 to e4 match exactly to b1 to e1. So that's giving us the number of just that simple formula there gives us a number of um, cells that are exactly correct. So how many numbers are in the right position. OK, that is all. Uh, if you are interested in a copy of this spreadsheet, please drop me an email. Like I say, I'll put it in the link. And if you are interested in seeing the VBA version, I will also link that for you. Thanks for watching.